Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel, Pretty Nerdy Adventures. My name is Taylor, and as always, on my left is my pretty nerdy partner, Michael. And this week on Pretty Nerdy Adventures, I'm building a Sylvie Loki cosplay for Halloween, while Michael lends emotional support, kinda like now, since I waited till the last minute, as always. So join us on this adventure to see whether or not I make a suitable Sylvie cosplay in time for Halloween at Disneyland, or if I cracked under the pressure. Maybe a little of both. Okay, everyone. It is 10 days until Halloween, and as usual, I am ill-prepared. So because of what I found for my cats, which happens to be a Loki Gator costume and a Loki President costume, I figured it was only fitting that I be uh, Sylvie, the Lady Loki, and we can all be Loki variants for Halloween. So I scrambled last minute, I went on Amazon, I purchased a bunch of different things in a bunch of different sizes, and we're gonna try them all on. We're gonna make sure they fit and that they're gonna work. Then we have to go to Michael's and buy all of the craft supplies to transform some of the pieces into more costume-esque pieces. We're gonna see how this goes. One of the reasons I decided to go with Sylvie was not only because of my cat's costumes, but also I already kind of have a number of the pieces I would need. For instance, um, these kind of loose-fitting jogger pants are very similar to Sylvie's pants in the show, so I'm gonna wear these already. I have that. Um, I have my Doc Martin boots that I'm gonna wear for the costume. And most importantly, So I have the crown piece already. I figured this costume could probably be the easiest for me to do in a short period of time. The only real things that I'm gonna have to build and try to create to make this happen, I think are going to be the chest plate and the arm kind of like, it's part of her shirt, but I'm gonna cover up my shirt with like arm pieces and Velcro them on to make it look like her shirt. So I think the, that's the only real work that I'm gonna have to do for this costume. I'm hoping I have enough time and that it looks good and not rushed. Okay, so this is the base of the costume. So I have the bodysuit and then the jogger pants, currently wearing Crocs. You guys, this actually I think is going to be perfect. So I'm gonna cut these off, glue stuff to the front with all the foam. I'm gonna build it up around the top to make it have some height like her chest piece. It's already kind of cut into that V formation at the bottom, which I think is gonna be perfect for laying the lines in Sylvie's bodysuit. Um, I think this is gonna work. I'm very excited. And we're gonna go to Michael's. We're gonna get the materials that we need. We're gonna buy a surplus of materials because I'm sure that I will screw something up at some point. And I am a perfectionist. So we will do it as many times as we have to do it until it is perfect. And yeah, let's do this. I think I'm excited. We're gonna build something. I forgot to try on the, the cloaks, y'all. Y'all, this is a small. And I was thinking I would need a medium, which is why I got the black one. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with the green one. The green one fits. These are all our pieces we're working with. Let's go build a bodice and make some arm pieces. Okay, y'all, we are arriving at Michael's. I don't have a list with me. I do have reference images, so I'm going to look at the reference images and I'm just going to assume that I'm going to remember everything that I need to get. We'll probably be back here tomorrow. Okay. The first thing I know we need is EVA phone. I don't know where that is, but I know it's the first thing we need. I'm going to guess this one. You know what? I'm going to buy one of these because I feel like it's smart. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting. Let's, let's buy a board that I can cut stuff on and not destroy our home. That sounds like a plan, right? I know I'm gonna need a glue gun, the foam, contact cement. Um, I'm gonna get the fabric for the straps at Joanne's probably. Um, I need something gold to do the detailing with. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna draw that on with a marker or if there's like studs or fabric or something I can use. We're gonna have to look around and see. I know exactly where you find some. Yeah? Food. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, about two miles down, there's a, I'm just kidding. Uh, in the very back corner, probably third of the last aisle in the corner, there's a rack in the middle of the drive aisle, and you'll see a bunch of the foam right there on the rack. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, thank you. I'll check on you in a few seconds. Thank you. 
He's so nice. I got so nervous for a second. I was like, wait, they don't have any here? Are they sold out? Because everybody's crafting for Halloween. He's <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> This is literally my, this is my, my plan Z. Like, it has to work. We've never been to Disney on Halloween, and we never get to wear costumes because we're grown people. So, I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> and so, like, the I don't know. Okay, yay! Yay! Okay, this is two millimeter, so this is kind of thin. Do you think I should get the thin one or the thick one? I think the thin one would be better. It gives you more room to work with. I feel like I might need... I feel like I might need both because... Well, this is the 4 millimeter. I feel like I might need this, though, because I need to build up the top piece, so I need to attach something to the inside of the bodice so it comes up, and then I need to use the thin ones, I think, to like, create the... Okay. Striping. Is this gonna be enough? Yes. Is this gonna be enough for when I screw up, though? Still yes. Okay. We need contacts event. We need black spray paint now. Or should I just paint it with acrylic paint, you think? I'm just trying to think what would look better. Yeah? Should I get some gold for the detailing? Or should I just use a marker for that? No, get it, get it, uh, we have the paint brushes, we might as well do as thin as we want it. And then, this green looks good. There's like a little piece that has like green. This looks good, right? What am I doing for the gold? Am I painting it? No. Marker? I said paint. Paint. Yeah. What is the difference? This just says metallic paint. Metallic paint. Acrylic paint. Matte acrylic paint. Oh, it's, there's a matte one. Should I get the matte black? That seems right, right? Is the other yeah. one going to be shiny? Is this matte? Satin. What is satin? What satin. is the difference? Satin might be like a matte metallic, whereas matte is just going to look like... Artsy people in the comments, what is the difference? Tell me! It's fine. Okay, so we went with some industrial strength glue. I figured this this will work. It's not like I need it to stay. It's not like that the part of me that I'm gluing is gonna be like moving extraneously. So I think it should be fine. Also, we're going to Joanne's after this, so maybe they have contact cement. At least we'll have something if they don't. Yeah. Perfect. Blue guns. All these goodies. I think I have that one, so let's get this one. That way we have a different size tip. Okay. Because this one takes the big glue sticks. So let's get some small ones and we'll get some big ones. Okay. Glue gun. Check. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go see if they have like um, those studs that we would buy like studded belts of when we were little emo children. If oh, they have yeah. like something like that in gold and like slightly bigger that I can maybe just stud into okay. the side of it. I wanted to get a scissor to cut the fabric, but I don't know how much it costs. Okay, so. I have foam to build up around the bodice and make all these little cuts. Um, I have gold paint, black paint, green paint. I have contact cement. I have a glue gun. I'm gonna get fabric at Joann's. Is there anything else I need here? I don't think so. Alright, let's go check out. So we're done at Michael's. We got most of the things we need, we just need to go join it to get fabric. Did I spend more on crafting supplies than I would have had I just bought like an expensive costume version of it? Yes. Did I think about buying the expensive costume version in time to get it for Halloween? No. So this is where we are. This would be kind of like leathery. No. No? No. And it's gonna be like shiny. No, like this. This okay. is what we're talking about. Uh, okay. Or like this. This is the one. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is perfect. Okay, it was inside out. That's why it looked weird. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's what I want. 
this is what I want. Oh my god. Yes. So then I can just paint the... What you need? Instead yeah. of doing... Or the little... Well, at least for the neck part. <laughs> yes, B. We doing this. Okay, y'all. It is day two. We are now nine days away from Halloween. Here is our Michaels and Joanne's haul. We got a ton of BBA foam, four millimeter and two millimeter. I bought a bunch of extra. A lot of this I bought extra and like some things that I would need for the future. So yeah, we're going to uh, attempt to put this together now. So, I finally worked up the courage to get started. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is take off these like meshy strap things from the bodice. I feel like I'm just gonna have to cut it super close to the seams. No one's gonna see it at the back anyway. trace the bodice out onto the four millimeter foam because I'm going to just glue a sheet on top of it and I think that's going to be my base and then I will glue the striping and the detailing onto that. I need to put the bodice on and then I'm going to measure um, from the top neckline to where I think the chest piece should end on me. That way I can correctly do it there. Now I don't have a tape measure. I lost my tape measure and did not think to get one at Joanne's yesterday. So I'm gonna find a piece of string and I'm gonna use the string and then I'm gonna measure the string. Right? I think that's good. I think any higher than that would be weird. So let's measure this distance. Why did I get a tape measure? I'm just gonna hold it onto the drawing and I think it's pretty good, guys. I'm trying to figure out if I made it too long. But I really don't want to cut another one and move forwards or doing other things until Michael sees it. I noticed that Sylvie has this like double belt situation. Recently, I upgraded my um, Star Wars like Jedi outfit belt that I wear. So I have my old one. It's brown. I'm going to paint it black and paint this buffalo gold. And then I'm going to wear this for the silly costume. Okay, y'all. It's kind of a mess um, from all of the erasing and figuring out, but I think I have the pattern complete for the chest piece. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think, Michael? Oh, that looks great. You think it looks good? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. So now my other question is, do you think that I should just cut everything out, paint everything now, that way it can dry and I can like glue it on tomorrow? Or should I cut everything out, then glue it on and then paint it as one piece? Glue it together first and then paint it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the pieces out. I'm gonna glue it onto the other body piece and then I'm gonna paint it, I guess. pieces out, I glued it onto the bodice. I think she's looking pretty darn okay, if you ask me. So now I'm gonna paint her so she can dry overnight and I'll work on a few other things. I have to add the striping at the top. I think we're getting somewhere.
So here is my constructed painted breastplate. I'm going to paint the gold part tomorrow when the black is all dry. Um, and then I painted the belt. And I'm going to paint the buckle gold tomorrow as well. And yeah, this is where we're at so far. We're back. I am currently sitting in the parking lot of the hardware store because I need to get a heat gun. This is Jimmy. Say hi, Jimmy. Hello. Hi, Jimmy. He's my local hardware guy. He's awesome. You guys, Jimmy has contact cement like we've been looking for. Boom. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we got a heat gun. Okay, y'all. We are back at the apartment. We have our heat gun and our contact cement. I'm not going to use the heat gun just yet. But, I will be needing the contact cement. I think the next step is to affi ad affix adhere. We're going to attach this to the bodice. Um, now, the way that I plan to do this, I am going to put on the bodice and then I'm literally going to glue the, the foam onto the bodice as I'm wearing it. Out of an era of, an era of caution, I'm about to wrap saran wrap around my whole entire torso. is affixed to the bodice. I drew out a very faint shape that I'm going to cut. This is going to be the beginning of my arm. Do you want to say hi to the YouTubes? Like say hi, YouTube. Really? It's so hi. Dumb. I agree. You should win. No, I didn't. <laughs> Update on the arm cuffs. The contact cement was not sticking to the leathery type of fabric that I purchased for the arm cuffs. Yeah, it didn't really work. I tried to hot glue it. Not super successful. Hey y'all. I did a thing. As you can tell by my new friend here, I realized, um, <laughs> Heating up a chest plate while you're wearing it, um, not safe, first off. Don't do things I do just because I do them. Uh, also, just not, not easy, not conducive. So I had to go enlist my friend here for help. So we're going to fix the body piece to her now. And if I have time tonight, we will start working on the straps, but... We're cutting it close, as usual, this Halloween. Hey. Hmm? <gasps> I think that's one of the smartest things you've ever not said. I have a belt. sports bra on her. You guys, she kind of has boobs. I think I'm going to put the sports bra back on her and heat gun it like a little bit more just to make sure it really like holds and has a good shape. I also probably going to leave it overnight, but I'm going to take the belt off to see what it looks like. She got a waist. Okay, I mean, it's obviously not perfect. I definitely have to fix the paint again. I knew I was gonna have to do that. I did not think this was gonna be the final paint job. I just really wanted to see what it was gonna look like so I could envision it. Um, this is so much better than I thought it would have been. I was like, in all honesty, I was fully prepared to like go looking like some janky ass <laughs> Loki, but this could be like passable, guys. 
So I'm definitely gonna blast it with some more heat, and then I'm gonna probably, do you think I should wrap it in saran wrap? this year guys so next steps um i'm gonna trim some of this excess under the armpit and then i need to add the trimming onto the top that way i can add the straps once that is done we just need to add like the gold detailing on the side over here and some gold detailing on the bottom and then give it like some quick touch up paint different we took a trip to Target um, I wanted to see if they had a gold paint marker for me to use for the detailing on here I'm scared if I try to do the paint that it won't be like opaque enough but while we were there Michael had a brilliant idea he found a small pair of leather leggings we cut the legs off added some foam detailing that I'm gonna paint gold y'all we have our leather arm cuffs Guys, she is done. It's a good thing too because it is, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween! Um, it got a little crazy last night as I was finishing this up so I didn't have a lot of time to record everything. But here's a little rundown of everything I did. I made the straps. I cut out some little foam. Um, I found this like studded gold fabric. And what I did is I cut individually the squares out and I glued them in chunks of six to make these rectangle shapes. And then the very last thing we did was to paint the X. And there you have it. You guys, did we freaking do this? B, you have to show them your costume. So, I'm Sylvie. We know that I'm Sylvie because Binks and Winnie are also gonna be Loki's. Well, now you're wondering, Taylor, what about Michael? Who is always the one that keeps him in check? Me, so. I have to be the time variance authority. What do you guys think? <laughs> so this is Binks in his president Loki costume. I'm trying to make him. I know. Oh no. Alligator Loki's losing her head. <laughs> Just trying to squirt him out of it so she looks like an alligator. I was up very late. I didn't sleep a lot. We're here at Disney California Adventure yet again on Halloween day, guys. Happy Halloween. Um, we're gonna see what 
goes on on Halloween. Um, I know so much about like Oogie Boogie Bash and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween, but I don't actually know much about what they do on Halloween or if they do anything out of the ordinary on Halloween. So we're here. I wanted a reason to dress up. So let's do this. Out. Yeah, he is. He looks great. Someday we'll get here early enough to have breakfast here. Um, today is not that day. Vader's uh. wearing his costume too. I know we're getting lunch, but. I, I didn't sleep last night, so. Yeah, let's go on another ride. We're, We're getting chairs. coffee. Let's gotcha. go on the Little Mermaid. So you're gonna you're gonna put the coffee in the. Yeah, because then it'll stay cold and for longer, and I don't have to like chug it. You make it seem like you have more than one drink. We just got coffee, didn't we? I don't know what you're talking about. Huh? Weird. It's crazy how alcohol finds its way okay, can I into ever, the mix. It's not like I can go to Joffrey's and not get alcohol. Coffee yeah. and alcohol. It's like my one of my favorite places in DCA. Also, the Peach Bellini was working today. It never works. It's like the, the McDonald's ice cream machine. It's a myth. So I had to get it. I had to try it. But now my coffee will stay cold while I drink that. Okay. It's tasty, refreshing. You can't go wrong. Oh my god, look at the Ellie and Carl people. They're so freaking cute. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. They look amazing. We just finished eating, so of course we have to come to Solar. Can't miss an opportunity. Yeah. This is a strange sight to see. We're just walking right onto Solar right now. Like we said, the last few times we've been here, it's been super crazy. So, it's so crazy. Like 80 minute waits on everything. But this is a breath of fresh air. Two, roll one. Can we get to be on top? And I think you have to ask for it. Yay, Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Maybe 20. Yeah. Nippy. I think it was shorter than that. Okay, so we're about done here for now. I think so. We got our photos that we wanted. We got to ride Guardians, which is great. Honestly, it's been a very chill, relaxing day here. We've just kind of meandered around a lot. There's not too much happening in terms of like Halloween festivities except all of the costumes are so cool. I love seeing everybody dressed up except me. Like I'm not the only one dressed like a weirdo today. But she's still a weirdo. And of course if it's Halloween at the park it means it is Christmas in the stores. Oh that reminds me. We have to get the Grogu Santa hat today. Oh yes. We saw a Grogu Santa hat last week. We need to get it today. And I know what you're thinking. Taylor, you're Jewish. Yeah. Doesn't mean these Christmas things are not freaking adorable. Also, now I have to celebrate Christmas. Yes. They're so cute. We made it into Disneyland, y'all. And also, now we're going to find out if it's just very slow at Disney today, or if everybody's just uh, getting ready to go to Oogie Boogie Bash. They don't have tickets, so they're at Disneyland instead. A lot of questions, because today is the first day in a long time where it just I seems just mellow. I feel like it's Halloween, and people do other things on Halloween. Like, people make plans for this day. And, like, kids want free candy. They want to go trick-or-treating. They want to show their costumes off to their friends. So unless everybody's coming here, they're, like, going to go trick-or-treating, you know? Is there a gnome for your mom? Because that's all we need. Is a gnome. Oh, all we need is... Disney gnome for my mother. She's obsessed. I went to um, 
Joanne's the other day for to get stuff for the costume. Yeah, so many, right? There was a giant, giant Christmas gnome. Oh, I like love it. Like soft, plushy Christmas gnome. I should take it in a heartbeat. Okay, we're going to the Starcade. Well, not Starcade. We're going to next to the Star The Star Tours store. The launching guy? No. What no. What is that store It's the Star Wars store. That's all you need to know. It's in Tomorrowland. Also, it's crazy. This guy makes it look like there's seasons here in California, but I assure you there isn't. There are seasons. They just happen in the span of one day. I was so scared they were going to sell out of these. I haven't seen them on the website yet. And this is super cute. Like, how, how did those ears sell out and this didn't? I don't know. I'm Jewish and I want this. Yeah. Should I get one? You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Considering how busy it's been the past few times we've come, especially on a Monday, DCA seemed very, very dead, and I'm wondering if Disneyland is now going to seem exponentially busier, not only because of that, but because everybody who doesn't have tickets to Oogie Boogie is now going to hop over here at some point. Probably. You know we gonna be pilots. We just got off Snuggler's Run. 20 minute standby as pilots. Consider that a win. Um, we were going to snack a snack before that, so I guess we'll go do that now. Unless there's another ride that also has an absurdly short wait time, because that has been a reoccurring theme for us. And like good rides too, not just like you know subpar rides like e-ticket rides like guardians, guardians monsters yeah. after dark and what was the other what else we got we got on smugglers run guardians and soren oh yeah soren we walked right onto soren yeah y'all if you guys want to come to disney on a day where there's going to be very few lines and you're going to have a great time because everyone's dressed up halloween is apparently your day we are about to go onto space mountain there's only a 30 minute wait time usually it's around like what 50 minutes, I would say, is what I typically see yeah. Space Mountain at. Um, and if it's anything like the other lines, I don't know that it will be 30 minutes from the time we get into the car and on the ride. Ain't no one in this room. What? I've never not seen people in this room. <laughs> 22 minutes. It was 22 minutes from the time I looked at to the time we got into our ride car and sent on our way. So that means that the other lines we went on must have been exponentially short, like 15 minutes max. You guys, in true Disney fashion, it's Halloween, which means there are snow and Christmas lights on the castle. We're getting ready for the holiday season, y'all. I feel like this is something she would let uh, What you got there? Christmas. Jewish Christmas. <laughs> Jewish Christmas. Just uh, anything that's wintry but doesn't have a Santa hat. God, just, just the design on this. It is shining, shimmering, splendid. Oh, FYI, Michael's entire family. All of your gifts are somewhere in this video, probably. Yep, 100%. <laughs> Everyone is making their way right over into Disneyland. We have starts and all of the regular park pass holders must now go to Disneyland for the night. Which means we will be making our final stop shopping and heading out to the rest of our fun day and everything. But you know, it seems like a pretty average day here at Disneyland, as, like even for a holiday. They're not really doing anything out of the ordinary. But I will say, it was a very nice, relaxing, quiet day where I got to see a bunch of people in awesome costumes. 
so it was worth it. And there you have it. I cut it close to the wire, but somehow managed to complete my cosplay. And if I do say so myself, I think it came out pretty good, especially for my first time working with a lot of these materials and techniques. No, it was definitely not the most conventional way of making cosplay armor, but hey, we're learning. So thank you so much for joining us. If you liked this video and want to learn how to unconventionally build cosplays with me in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell to turn on notifications, and as always, part of the journey is the end. But we'll be back next week for another pretty nerdy adventure.